Hey there, year two. It is your third computing lesson. So this is computing lesson for week five. And we are continuing our look at the internet and the use of search engines today. Now, what I want to start today with is just a little reminder again, if you are ever unsure of what we're doing in these things, you can always talk to your teachers in your live lessons, or you can pause my video, go back, have another look at what we were talking about and see if you can find any information in there that you are going to be missing. Now, today, we're going to just read a recap of what we did last time. I'm just going to go through the quiz that you hopefully created for me last time. So if I share my screen, you should be able to see what we did in terms of our quiz. So I've got my screen up on across here. Hopefully you can see that there. And I am just going to load up for us our purple mash that we were looking at last time. Looked at last time. Let's see how you did. Let's see if you got the same answers as I did. So the first question said, the internet is a network of users that are, and the answer was last time we did together was connected together. Hopefully you got that one correct. The next one, what is the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web? Now, it's not, there's nothing that they're the same because, of course, the internet includes some extra things. And that's that second L, online gaming and messaging. That's the key one that we need to do there. The World Wide Web is just one part of the internet, which is a much larger part altogether. That's the key one for us there. The next one, what tool, uh, what is the tool called that we use to access the internet? Now, this one is a tricky one. It types, as is Google, as is Safari. But the one we're looking for is it's a browser. That browser and one of the browser's names is Google and Safari and Explorer. Well done us. The next one here, www.2simple.com is a, and the question here is it's a website. We talked about the idea that a website is like a book and inside it are lots of web pages. So that is a website. Now, www.2simple.com slash contact is within the 2simple.com website. It is a web, unfortunately, it is a web page. Next one here, you've got here, complete the following. A web address is the way to find a page on the internet, where the computer is, where a spider lives. First one, of course, I hope that no one thought that a web address is where Spider-Man lives. I'm sure you were more sensible than that. And finally, the last question last from last week was this one. Complete the following. A search engine is a program to help find pages on the internet, a type of metal detector, a game, a special type of program to help find pages on the internet. That was the answer we were looking for. Now, if you managed to get all that in, hopefully you then handed them in. Uh, and got seven out of seven. Now today we are going to be oh, completing a dinosaur quiz at the end of this lesson, but to complete that dinosaur quiz, you engine on your computers. So I'm just gonna go through a little bit about an introduction to the internet and how this will look and how you is you need to go onto a search engine. Now the search engine that I've chosen to use here is Google, but you could use any search engine you like. You can use a search engine on Wiring, or you could use a uh, Bing or anything on your laptops. Once you've got into your search engine, the question then is to write into the query that you're looking for. So you type in what we're looking to find information on. Now today, you are looking for information on dinosaurs. Now, it's really important that you spell the word correctly. I can figure out what you're trying to say and it might put in the rest of it for you, but you need to think really carefully about what you're putting in, okay? So we're gonna type dinosaurs into our search. Now, if you want to do this now and pause me, that's absolutely fine and come back to this in a moment. Otherwise, you can click, uh, click on this next one and do this for yourselves. We then click Google search. While I'm on this page, you might say things as I'm feeling lucky. That I'm feeling lucky link will take you to the very first link on dinosaurs. So if you think I want the first page on dinosaurs, you can click I'm feeling lucky it will take you directly to that very first page but we're just going to click when you do that you will find the following information coming up on your screen now it's really important as part of our e-safety to remember that when we search things on the internet we don't necessarily know what internet what, what information we'll find out as we connect to make sure that you are finding facts and you are not finding things that are untrue when we talk about our e-safety that not every web page you find out there will be accurate information so it's always good to use very safe websites such as the bbc web used all of the time so for example here the dinosaur page on Wikipedia comes up as a really important one, as does the Dino Directory for the Natural History Museum and Dinosaur Facts from DK Find Out. Lots of those areas there are good websites that you can use in order to find information. You can see at the top here, you've got a range of different uh, links that you can follow. You can look at all of the results in terms of dinosaurs. You could look at just at images for dinosaurs. You can look at videos, news, shopping. I don't want you buying any dinosaurs, but maybe a dinosaur teddy bear might be some apps. Now in such tools, you can refine your search. So you can look for certain particular things about dinosaurs. It could be that you want information only uh, put out there in the last three or four years, or you want information that has just got lots of images in it, or has got exact, all of those things can be done throughout the search tools. Now, I want you to use the search engine to answer the questions correctly. And then you've got a check it quiz in the dinosaur quiz in order to see if you found out all this information about dinosaurs. Now the questions, so these are the questions and you can pause the screen if you'd like to try and find out information about this, but you want to try and find out using your search engine, these bits of information. Number one, 
approximately how tall was a Tyrannosaurus Rex? So did dinosaurs rule the earth? Number three, what did a Triceratops eat? Number four, in tons, how much did a Diplodo uh, Diplodocus weigh? And finally, question number five, look at a picture. Now, if you can find information on these questions and write them down, you'll do really well at the quiz. So if you want to pause this screen, go off, use your search engine, find the information, and then come back and you can then complete the quiz. So do that for me now. Did you do it? Did you go off? Did you find this bits of information? Once you've found the bits of information, dinosaur quiz. Now, only once you've got that information is it worth clicking on the quiz and you can then click on play and it will take you through to these questions. So based on your information, approximately how tall was the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Have a look through what you found out. Did you type in approximately and how tall Tyrannosaurus Rex? Was that the question you put in your search bar? Because I found out when I even found out that I think it was between four meters and 6.1 meters. That's what I think it was in terms of how tall it was. I want to see if I was correct and... I got one of my questions right. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these with you because I want you to have a go and see if you can complete that quiz and show me what you understood and what you were able to find out by going out there and using a search engine to find more information. Let me know how you got on. Complete the Purple Mesh quiz. Last one of these sessions for week six's um, session on search engine.